Hey, it's Zalna, welcome back to Mirror Mirror. And if you're new here, hi, I'm an independent music artist. I write, record and produce my own music. And I also film four series here on my YouTube. And this one is all about relationships because they are the key to life. So for this video, we're gonna talk about boundaries, which is something I have talked about before. I think I have a video from like 2019 or something. But of course, two years is a long time to figure yourself out and figure your life out. So I have learned a lot more about boundaries and I wanna delve into them because they are something that is so, so goddamn important in all areas of life, not just romantic relationships, but just in general. And oftentimes we are afraid to not only assert them, but even know what the hell our boundaries are. And for me, I've really come to understand that a boundary is a self-loving thing. It's something that you do for your own health, your own sanity, your own safety and everything like that. But in order to know what your boundaries are, you need to know what you want and need, you know, and you need to know what you value what you stand for, those kind of things, especially when it comes to relationships, because they're kind of like saying, this is me and this is my space. Do you know what I mean? Like if you picture a boundary as a physical thing, it's like outlining a space or a room or whatever it might be. So like you could draw a full boundary around yourself and that's showing your space. But when it comes energetically, it's kind of the same thing. It's like, this is where I am. This is what my needs are. This is who I am. And you can't cross that. You can't go against that or oppress that or remove that or like blur that or any other word that you want to use. So it's like, this is who I am this is my truth and my boundary is this because this is who I am and you cannot oppose that or go against that or belittle that or any other kind of thing you know and I feel like a lot of the time when we get in codependent relationships and relationships where we feel like we can't live without the per other person like there's a lot of enmeshment issues is because we don't have strong boundaries or standards for that matter which I have definitely done so we're like lacking our own boundaries of our sense of self. So it's really, really important, especially today, in today's world with social media, to know what we need and what we want and how to get our needs met without having to manipulate and coerce people into meeting them. You know, like knowing who you are so much that you're not willing to settle below that. You're not willing to allow anyone in your space that is gonna cross that or become confrontational against who you are and your truth and things like that. And then also that anyone that does and anyone that continuously tries to do that is then removed from your life, you know? And I feel like to get to that stage, you need to be quite secure in yourself and who you are in the sense that you need to know who you are and accept who you are. You know, it's not even always about liking who you are. It's more about accepting that this is who I am. This is what I need and I can't unneed what I need. So I only want to align with people that can naturally meet that need and that I can naturally meet theirs. I don't want somebody that I have to raise or coerce or mold into being able to meet my needs. I don't want somebody that is going to continuously cross my boundaries and belittle my needs. You know, like it's about being in divine alignment with those people so that they naturally are already on that wave and are able to meet your needs anyway. And they choose to and they want to, you know. It's not something that you have to force or encourage or try and like pull them towards you to make them meet your needs. Because if they're in alignment, they will naturally do that and they'll want to do that. And I used to associate boundaries with like aggression or like confrontational or just harshness, I guess. But now I realize that actually it's so healthy to have that because otherwise people will just walk all over you. People will just like use and abuse and manipulate and you know, those kind of things. So having your boundaries of just saying like, no, this is me, like this is me that's where the line is. You can't cross that line because if you do, then you'll just be gone from my life. And it's really that simple, you know? It's not something that needs to be overthought or feared or panicked about. It's just, this is me. This is who I am. 
this is what I need, this is what I like, this is what I value, this is my love language, you know? And then allowing other people to have the space as well to do the same and to express their needs and who they are and be authentic to themselves and not try to cross theirs and coerce them into changing and becoming something else or anything like that. It's like, no, we're both able to be ourselves and come together and this is our own space and our own energy that we bring to the table and then just allowing people to be who they are and respecting their boundaries, respecting what they need and what they don't like and stuff like that, you know? And to be honest, once it's like really healthy, this has got me thinking about the future because obviously I'm not in a relationship anymore and I'm on that wave of thinking like, no, I wanna call in my life partner, but I wanna get my whole world and life together before I do that. So it's like, it's getting me excited just thinking about what a healthy dynamic like that could look like because I've never had that before of it being so healthy and like it. Do you know what I mean? Where we're both on that wave and can fully be ourselves and respect each other's boundaries. I've never experienced that. So just even imagining it and thinking about the idea of it is getting me kind of excited because I can just feel it as if it's happening right now. I could just feel it being so healthy and so freeing instead of like constricting in like a cage and closing you in and suffocating. It's going to feel so freeing to be able to be who you are. Do you know what I mean? It's just crazy. And I want that in obviously like not just romantic relationships, but every kind of relationship and friendship and all of that is just so important to have, to be honest. And I'm like the older that I get, I'm understanding more and more how important it is to have people around you that are on your wave and that support you, that resonate with you fully and you resonate with them. Like to have quality over quantity the right people it's just so important and I think the older that you get the more you start to realize and value that so anyway thank you so much for watching I hope this video was helpful definitely check out the description box below for everything about me all links to my music my phone number because I do send daily spiritual thoughts and videos every day as well as my jewelry brand one-to-one -one sessions everything about me and I will see you in the next video bye how do we get to this feeling I'm feeling how did this open up after the healing flaws all exposed when I thought they could fade wounds are exposed in so many ways